our vacation to Seattle and geocaching headquarters, we have to scrap the whole thing because unfortunately Lyric Glass tested positive for COVID. In consultation with uh, Health Canada and what we've read and our situation, we feel in our best interest to head home right now. And we're going to be doing so by crossing the United States from where we are in Washington to Port Huron, Michigan and entering Canada there. So we're going to go into Leavenworth and get the webcam there. Mm -hmm. um, that could be a little tricky because of people. That, so it could be a little busy, so we have to watch that. We'll make sure we have to wear our masks. Um, well, if there's just too many people, I just won't go. Well, we'll make it work. We'll get it. So it's good. Where we've chosen to go to a webcam, mm -hmm. there's a charging station there. parking there but I don't know if it's a but problem. it's blocked off right now I don't think oh, right okay great. we could try to park there because it just I think you just can't go through I don't think you can I think no, that's you're blocked right. off. you're right you're right it's blocked off yeah so yeah so right there and if you turn this then you can get the image the same as yeah what you had there for the webcam so that's where we need to stand is right either on the corner or right in front of that orange barrier if we stand right in front of the orange barrier stand on one foot with our hands over our heads. Just go like that. Yeah, we'll capture the image with your hand over your head, right? So there you go, so. Okay, we're in Leavenworth. Sorry about that, folks. We're in Leavenworth, and uh, we're gonna be getting a webcam. Isolating. Yes. So we're gonna keep our distance from other people. And wear masks. Yes. So here we go. Off we go to get a webcam. Okay, while she remains in the car uh, as it's charging, uh, I'm going to step into the food market and get some stuff or supplies for our dinner and uh, breakfast and snacks. So the barrier is right here and the camera is over right I think I see it right there. And we're just going to take our picture here. Okay, we got it. And uh, we're out of here. Number, uh, webcam number 81. So that was a cool webcam. We kept our distance, did what we could, picked up some supplies and we're on our way. And the temperature, it's a blazing 38 degrees Celsius. Just step outside and you're putting up a sweat. And the hills around here, suddenly from the mountains just to the west to here, suddenly the hills are completely dry as a bone. Just amazing change and that's such a short distance. So we're moving on uh, east, and our next stop is likely to be Idaho for a geocache or two as we pass through towards Montana. Cross the borders of Morocco, take a journey to Dubai, by the pirates stuck in this land, Paris. Take a swim in salty water, drinking stars and holy sun. I rode my body up the mountain, up the mountain to a place where I can sit my rocking chair. Feels like I'm spinning down the middle. Don't know which way to go. Oh, there's something about you. I wish you were mine. It was so quiet. All you could hear was the rustling of the leaves in the trees. The occasional lap of water on the shore. 
We needed a place to have lunch, so we found this little park in this little town on the edge of the Columbia River. And this cool feature right here, this is the edge of the Columbia Plateau, an earth cache paradise. There isn't an earth cache here in this location, but there could be, and there should be. If I get my act together and work it out, I might be able to post one for this location, and that would be really cool because it is an awesome spot. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Get behind the wheel again. I see your face, I miss you, miss you, I miss you We've left the mountains long behind us. We're now on the flat plateau of Washington, which I didn't expect. I didn't know Washington looked like this. To me, it looks more like the Great Plains of Kansas or Iowa for that matter. But we're just stopping at a rest area for a bit of a rest and to stretch our legs. And there's a geocache here and we'll see if we can find it. I think I found it. Oh yes, there we go. Yada. I was beginning to worry I wouldn't find it because the hint says only a geocacher with a rock for a brain wouldn't be able to find it. But I was able to locate the geocache and put our names on it for another find. We're likely to be driving into the night and uh, going to be stopping in Idaho for a geocache, but it's likely to be dark then. But we'll bring you a peek at where we stop. Not only did I find a geocache, I found a tumbleweed. That's right, a tumbleweed. Pretty cool. Whee! stopping for a charge in Spokane, which I learned how to say. It's not Spokane, it's Spokane. And uh, there are three caches that I think uh, we're gonna go for while we're here. Uh, and one is a puzzle, which I sat in uh, the Tesla and figured out. I have one like this myself, so uh, I, I was, wasn't sure if I got it, but there's a checker and boom, I had success. I got a green light, so I wanna go see if it's there. The last uh, log was a DNF, so hoping that the geocache is there so we can get three quick ones. 